hi guys welcome to salesforce group in today's video we we'll learn what is salesforce lighting design system and how to install this library to a project so first we need to understand what is sLDs sLDs stands for salesforce lighting design system it is a component library developed by salesforce and it helps us to create a uniform look and feel across all salesforce related application in simple term it's a css library that gives us the pre-written styling like other library does bootstrap balma css and other library so you don't need to write your own css you just need to use the classes given by the sLDs library so let's go to our vs code and write some commands to set up this library to our code i'll come to my vs code and i'll write a command npm install at salesforce ux slash design system and this will install the package salesforce ux design system to our project just make sure you are inside the right folder that is covid check-in app or if you have an, another name to your application you should be inside that so let's hit enter and it will start installing this package so then package has been installed and you can go to package.json and you can see that your package has been added here under the dependencies now we need another package uh, here it is your salesforce design system and now we need another package that help us to include this design system to our project and that is synthetic shadow by default lwc use the native shadow and it won't allow you to pass anything down to your shadow tree so to bypass that we will use synthetic shadow and let's go to terminal again type clear and it will clear up our terminal and now what we're going to do is phone a little bit and let's type a command npm install lwc synthetic shadow and hit enter now it will install this synthetic shadow if you want to read about these packages you can go to google or npm.js there it will be a documentation related to these package and now you can see that our installation complete of second package as well that is synthetic shadow and inside the package.json you can see that package is listed here under the dependencies now first first we need to go to index.js and tell this project okay whenever you run this project treat the lwc in the shed uh, synthetic shadow mode not the native mode so we'll go to source inside the client there is index.js and on the top we are going to import this library that we have installed at lwc synthetic shadow and now throughout our application will follow the synthetic shadow so first step is to include this in the index.js now we are going to install the or copy the design system assets to our distribution folder so for that we will go to lwc service.config this is a configuration file for lwc project and here you can do your all configuration so here what i'm gonna do is i'll add another object format this little bit now i'll add a new object i'll say from and now i want to copy the node module uh, the design system assets that are present in the node module to a file that is a distribution folder that we will generate in a minute and under distribution folder it should get stored with the name slds and now what we're going to do we need this path we can go to node modules under the node modules we can look for add salesforce add salesforce ux is there and under that there is a design system folder and under that we need the assets so we want to copy this asset folder to a slds folder let's keep that path node module slash at salesforce hyphen ux slash design system slash assets and it gets stored inside the distribution folder under that there will be slds folder under that all the asset gets copied now how this will work when we bundle the project 
basically this is a webpack configuration webpack will handle this all so let's clear the terminal and now we have to bundle a project first for that i'll go to package.json and i look for the command and there is a command called build so if you want this folder to get generate inside the source folder then you can give a path for source as well but i'm going with the distribution folder because distribution is the folder that we're going to deploy to the server going forward and that's what it was done for the resources we are moving when the project bundled we are moving all the resources to a distribution folder and under the distribution folder we are creating the resources and copying all the resources from client resources to a distribution resource so now let's run the command npm run build and it will generate a distribution folder here right now there is no folder and now you can see that the command runs successfully it gives the logs build duration 5 seconds and build successfully created and here if you go to a distribution folder you will see there is a SLDS folder that generated from here and it just copied all the assets that are available inside this path it just copied everything and it bundle our resources separately all the resources that are inside the source it's moved here and index.html that is a entry point for our application so now we have our SLDS ready we have our synthetic shadow ready now we have to use this inside our index.html so let's go to our index.html inside the client and here we will add the path to our CSS library that is SLDS library I'll say link then I have a relation and that relation is style it and after that we need to define the type type is text slash css and then i need a reference href and i'll give the path to my library that is under the slds folder there is a styles and under that lightning uh, salesforce lightning design system dot css is available so if you want to see this path go to a distribution folder there is a slds folder so the path starts from here slds look for styles under the styles we are picking up the design system dot css so now i'll come back here to my terminal and before right uh, running the project let's add some slds classes to our component and before writing the class we should know from where we can learn about these classes how how these classes look like and for that we'll go to google and type slds hit enter you will get the first link that is the url to this design system library you select you will come to this website that is lightingdesignsystem.com and here you can search for any component that you want let's start with the button basic buttons but it has many components that you can use like accordion alerts then avatar badges card buttons chat carousel checkbox counter data table so many so right now if you see here i'll show code click show code it says you call the button tag and give the class slds button so it will look like this if you add slds button underscore neutral it will come like this if you give slds button underscore brand it will become blue if you give outline it will become outline if you give destructive it become automatically red so if we copy this as it is to our project inside our component these buttons should get the color if these buttons are getting the colors it means our slds library is working fine let's copy this and come back to our vs code and now let's go to our component app component and under the app.html just below the h1 will paste the code that we have copied as it is all the buttons and now let's run the project npm run watch and it start the server let's go back to the url localhost 3001 and immediately you can see that the background is coming automatically little bit grayish and we are having the colors or the styling of the 
SLDS library. So successfully, we have able to introduce the library to our project. And if you want some other components, you can explore here. If you want a card component, you can look for the card. Each and every configuration has been defined on the right hand side. If you just want looking for a with header, you want a body, you want an empty one with collapse version, you need a nested cards, you can go like this. There are cards within the cards, then with icons and everything is there. You just explore this and you learn a lot of things. And you just need to know which component suits you and you just need to copy these classes. You don't need to write a CSS. So now we have successfully able to integrate our SLDS library. And next video, we're going to use these classes and build a form for our application. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.